38 snowmobiles race in the I-500, and I'm standing here with last year's reigning champs. Meet Zach and Wes. Okay, Zach, I'm going to first start with you. Tell me, what was it like racing last year and then winning? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, the track was awesome. The competition was really good. It was a close race, and Wes and I had a good sled, so it was a lot of fun. Now, when you're out there, what's going What's going through your mind? Uh, just put in smooth, consistent laps, and uh, one mistake can take you out of the whole race. So uh, put in good laps and be smart and have fun. Be smart and have fun. Okay, so you guys won last year. Now, what is the mindset going into this year, and how are you hoping to do it again? Well, just we made a lot of improvements this year to our sled, and the team has worked really hard, and we put in our time. So you need a little bit of luck with this race or any kind of racing, too, which... Hopefully no one gets hurt or nothing, and we just have a good, clean racing day. And uh, There's a lot of teams here that they have a lot of good riders and good sleds and equipment, and it'll be a good race again, you know. Last year it went down to the end where Zach was at the end riding with Aaron, and uh, they had a hell of a race for everyone to watch for the 50th, and hopefully it'll be a good race this year and uh, exciting and close and see how it goes. Yeah, okay, so you said you talked, you put in some work into the sled. What was some of that work that you guys did? Uh, just improvements, you know. Every year you can't come back with the same equipment and hope to do the same results everyone's striving to be better every year no matter what you're doing you know so um durability speed uh, weight just things like that handling you can always you can always improve that stuff so we've done a lot zach's put in a lot of time with the team and uh i think we have a good piece this year and we're just gonna have it's hard to tell until you're at race yeah. speed you know but uh there's a lot of things that can happen and We've done our homework, so I think it'll be a good year this year again. Yeah, you guys sound super prepared, and you know what? How long have you guys been racing together, and how does it make a good dynamic out there? Yeah, Wes and I have been racing against each other for years now, so and then uh, we're pretty good buddies off the track, so it makes for fun time at our normal races, and then we get the team up here, and uh, we've been racing together here three years now, so uh, it goes really good, and we ride really good together, so it should be a good weekend. Now, when you're qualifying, what's the time that you're um, looking out to beat? Uh, I think we're in the low 40s right now for qualifying time, which is top five. And uh, really, if you can be in the top 10 qualifying and just be out, be on the front side of the pack uh, and stay out of the snow dust, it makes for a lot better going the first 100 laps or so. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much. We wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you guys can bring it home again. And if you're looking for more information on how to check out the race, we'll have all the information on 9 and 10 newscom